it's okay too because a lot of consumers they're they're looking to save money especially in today's times mm -hmm. i'm looking to save money as well now carla i don't know the first thing about tax accountant okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's your responsibility you be the tax accountant and i'll be the contractor right. and i first have to have trust and faith and confidence in you and what it is you do right, right. so i'm going to ask you a lot of questions and i'm going to do some homework relative to your experience people that you've worked with i'm going to ask to speak with them that's going to give me the confidence then of course there's that gut feeling i have in my stomach about who you are what you do and how you do it mm -hmm. okay so i recommend to all the listeners out there first do your homework Mm -hmm. Make sure that you're selecting a contractor who is licensed, bonded, and insured. Going to the Contractor State License Board online at cslb.ca.gov will allow you to determine whether a contractor is using his own license number, whether they're bonded, and whether their license is current and active, or whether they have disciplinary actions against them. Mm. Very important information. Mm -hmm. At the very least, go to Google. Do a Google search. Sure. People are out there talking about contractors that aren't doing their job. I know there was a situation that we dealt with down in Orange County where there was a pool contractor that was contracting to do all these high-end pools and everybody was using the same person. But they had just Googled, they would have seen that this person never performed, never finished a job. Mm. So just some basic level research mm. on a contractor, I think is what you're saying is very important. That's right. That's what I'm saying. And another thing is relative to that, we have the time frame it takes to complete. Many times a contractor will say to the consumer, it's going to take us six weeks to complete, knowing full and well it's going to take them 10 mm. or 12. Right. But what's the consumer <laughs> to do once the job's been started? They just have to hold their breath and wait until it's done. Right. And that can be painful. Setting up an expectation that isn't met, again, leading us to the disappointment and frustration and resentment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, when the contractor leaves and takes a look at the end result that is being left with the, the customer, mm -hmm. The customer is going to be reminded of the experience they had long after the job is completed. And mm -hmm. if that feeling is a feeling of disappointment, are they really going to refer business? Right. Are they going to feel good about that experience? Mm -hmm. It's more than just hammers and nails. Mm -hmm. It's an experience. It's in a relationship. Mm -hmm. It is an experience. You know, it costs 500% right. more money to find a new customer than it does to get a referral customer. Yeah, I can just imagine. Yeah. And marketing and advertising costs are very expensive. Yeah. So it's imperative that it's vital yeah. that we make sure our clients are satisfied and exceeded expectations, not just satisfied. Yeah, sure.